Hi, I'm Resha from Peridot Makeup. Welcome back to my channel. There are many factors that contribute to the foundation not looking as flawless on your skin as it can do. Stay tuned to find out what the reasons are and how to overcome these issues. Foundation that just doesn't sit as nicely on the skin is one of the questions I get probably asked most about when it comes to makeup results. There are so many factors that can come into this and I'm going to try and point them all out to you in this. First one is skincare routine. Do you have a healthy skincare routine? Do you look after your skin? Uh, have a look at my videos. There's many videos on both YouTube as well as Instagram on how to best look after your skin. Allow enough time for your skincare to be absorbed by your skin before you start your makeup process. Ideally, it's best to wait half an hour before you actually start. Also allow some time between the application of sunscreen and the primer as well as the foundation. Some instructions say that you need to apply foundation or makeup immediately straight after you've applied uh, the primer. But that's actually not always the case. Sometimes it's actually best to wait a minute or two. Does your primer mix well with the foundation that you use? Well, if you're using an oil-based foundation with a moisturizing primer, they will probably clash because we all know that water and oil don't mix well together. So make sure you use the right type of primer with the right type of foundation. Another, another factor that can contribute to the foundation not sitting nicely on your skin is the expiry date. Simple as that. How long have you had that foundation? And did you store it in a dark, cool place away from direct sunlight? Have you changed the application method of the foundation? Some foundations prefer to be applied by brush and others with your fingers even, or with a beauty blender. Wax-based foundations, they like to be warmed up. So I recommend applying them on the back of your hands first, warm it up with your fingers and then apply it. You can use a brush to apply the wax-based foundation once you've formed it up. So I recommend using your ring finger and gently blending it into your skin where you have fine lines or wrinkles. So gently dab without rubbing. By gently dabbing, you can blend the foundation in with your skin and avoid that from creasing into your skin. Another factor which contributes to the foundation not sitting nicely is simply piling on too much product where it's really not necessary. Color correcting is one thing, but piling on product on top of product on top of product is really, really counterproductive because you might get that coverage that you want. However, you will pay the price by having too much product on the skin, which makes it either crack or become cakey or even split in some parts because the composition of the concealer may not go with the composition of the foundation that you used. Age can also contribute to why foundation doesn't sit as nicely on your skin anymore. So if you've been using the same foundation for many years because you just love it and you've tried other foundations that just don't look as good on you as that particular one that you like, so you keep buying it over and over again, but all of a sudden it just doesn't look as well anymore as it used to be 10 years ago. Our skin changes with age, so does our need for Foundation. So it's the same principle as why with age you need to change your skincare products. It's the same thing with the foundations and makeup in general. So the foundation that you used to love in your 20s may not work as well with you when you're in your 30s and even worse when you're in your 40s and so on. So do try to either thin it out, apply another element to it, add an element to it that might make it work better for you or try and change the foundation altogether to something that is more suited to your skin type. And also, as we age, we develop lines. So it's not just expression lines, we get fine lines and wrinkles. So the less product you pile on to these parts, trust me, the better. In instead of trying to cover it up with a lot of product, use minimal product as you can, because at the end of the day, it's just makeup. Foundation is just makeup and it will crease in some parts. We try to minimize it, of course, as much as possible. But at the end of the day, do not forget that foundation can only do so much. So it can crease in some parts. So the way we can minimize this creasing is by applying minimum, minimum product. 
So in my case, for example, instead of applying foundation where I know I have fine lines or expression lines or wrinkles, I leave it at all completely. So I apply the foundation where I'm happy for it to sit. Instead of applying foundation or concealer here, which I know will crease and settle between the fine lines, I just use whatever I have around that part and just gently bring it in with my finger. This way I avoid the product from creasing and when it gets hot or my, my skin temperature increases and then decreases again when I go outside or come back inside, it doesn't move as much. When you powder, apply minimum powder because if you are using a setting powder which is of good quality, then you really don't need to put on much there anyway. So whatever remains on the brush after you've powdered the rest of your face, gently dab, do not, do not rub in any case. Just gently dab, press on the powder with the very thin, loose, feathered brush. I hope you found this useful today. If you did like this video, please make sure you give me the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.